Hey, good evening, Kel. How are you, Dave? I'm doing great. So, you used to live in California. What made you decide to come to Idaho? Uh, there was quite a few reasons that we came up here. My wife decided that she wanted to get out of the state um, due to job reasons and the way the property taxes and quite a few other things were going and the commute times were getting longer and longer. And she said, let's go check out Idaho. And so we came up to Idaho um, one weekend uh, in 2017 in late September. And we decided we all really liked it up here. And Dave took us around to quite a few different places uh, in Caldwell and Nampa, Boise, Meridian. And we found a place up off of 21 going towards Idaho City and fell in love with it and decided that we didn't think it would stay on the market very long um, and we decided to put an offer after that first weekend up here. People have been extremely nice to us. Um, the school that my son goes to is a real small school. Uh, he's fitting in really well with the kids. Um, we like the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. We have property, which we never thought we would ever have before. We're on seven acres. And, um, you know, it's not that bad of a drive into town. It takes us as long to get anywhere here as it did where we were before. Right. Actually, probably less, even though we live farther out. I'll bet your commute's more beautiful, too. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful up here. We, I mean, that's one of the things that really drew us to the area was when we came up this road and the beautiful canyons and the water and the river and just the setting alone is magnificent. So, And then your um, sister-in-law, her family, they really loved it up here, too. Yeah, and my sister-in-law, they bought just down the road from us. And uh, they were in the same situation as we were, felt that there was a need to get out and, of California. Not to, the, you know, we didn't like California. It was just getting extremely expensive, and our time was spent working and trying to get things paid off. And up here, it's just different. We have a better quality of life. We spend more time together. Um, and we do things together that we didn't really have a chance to do only on vacations down there. Wow. So it, it all worked out pretty well for us to come up here. You know, it, we have four seasons now instead of two. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a little bit of a change. You have to be a little more prepared. What about all that snow that they get up there? Well, we haven't really lived in the snow season just yet. We caught the tail end of it. Um, so we're we prepared for it. We're prepared for it. We've got um, a tractor and stuff now that we can plow our road because we we're not in a rural city. We're not in a city. We're in rural country. We're kind of off the grid a little bit, but they do a really good job apparently of clearing the roads off up here, and you're just pretty much responsible for your driveway. So we got ourselves a tractor so we clear our driveway and get out when we need to get out. Like I said, you have to be a little more prepared. It's a little more work right away, but I think, you know, after you've been here for a while, it's not going to be a big deal. So you've got a beautiful house up here, seven acres, over seven acres, and for what this costs is probably about the price of just a regular average in-town kind of house in California? Yeah, I would say it's probably... Definitely, you wouldn't be able to live in the Bay Area. You'd have to live on the outskirts of the Bay Area to afford something like this size. Right. You know, um, taxes are low. Here in this county, um, there's no smog tax. There's no smog. You don't have to pay smog in Boise County. So it's, no, it's no smog on your cars? No smog on the cars. 
and registration uh, for two years was $123. So you went down to DMV to get your license. How long did you have to wait in line? I didn't have to wait at all. There's no wait in, at the DMV in this part of Boise, or in this part of uh, Boise County, I should say. Right. Now, Ada County, I don't know anything about that. If you live down in if you live down in Boise and Napa, I'm sure you're going to probably have a little bit different kind of uh, experience with, you know, DMV and stuff like that. Healthcare seems to be really good up here. That was a kind of an important thing that we wanted to make sure that they had good healthcare services, mm -hmm. and we do. And we actually paid like sixty dollars a year for Life Flight uh, for the entire family. Wow. And we have. Uh, we, we bought two policies for ambulance service up here that was probably around the similar, you know, it was like $50 for the, uh, the family and my mom had to pay $50 for hers because she's separate. And um, So you're saying you can come up here, live out in the country, have room to spread out, yet still have all those important things like health care, um, that life flight. I mean, you're just minutes away from a hospital once that right. gets here. And, uh, you know, they have banks. They don't have, um, there's not Bank of America up here. It's Bank of America does no longer exists in Idaho. So, um, neither does in and out Burger. Neither does in and out Burger. You know, there's a few things that are a little, there's, I haven't seen a Safeway yet, but they have Winco and Albertsons, which is pretty much, another name for Safeway up here. Um, you have Target, Macy's, um, pretty much everything you can want, you can get down in Boise. Uh, no Orchard Supply, but they got D&B, and they have Home Depot and Lowe's. Um, they have other hardware stores. Um, so if you're shopping for something, you're probably gonna find it local. Yeah, if anything you're going to need, they're going to have it. And Boise's pretty up and coming. So as far as if you're a foodie and stuff like that, you're going to pretty much find what you want down there. Um, you know, no French bread up here. If you're used to French bread, uh, it's, it's a little different, but um, you'll make do. Uh, how was your experience with your real estate agent? Well, I gotta say one thing. I've dealt with a lot of real estate agents in the last 15 to 20 years, <laughs> and Dave takes it to a whole different level. Dave takes you around, he helps you shop around, he tries to answer all your questions, um, he makes sure that he schedules everything prior to you getting there. He'll pick you up in his, in his van and take you around and show you the places. Um, he's, he's pretty non-biased in the whole thing. You know, he just, you, he, you give him what you're looking for and he'll take you around to the places that um, you pretty much are looking for. And that's what we did. So, um, Very cool. Yeah, so he spent, he'll spend a lot of time with you until you find something. Well, and you coming up from California, you didn't really know all the different areas around the Treasure Valley. No, we didn't know the Treasure Valley at all. We didn't know what we were looking at. We didn't know if we were in Codwell, Napa, or Meridian until, you know, something was said. And um, they're all fine places to live. Uh, crime rate up here is extremely low. Um, you probably know all your neighbors. We know some of our neighbors, not really well yet because we haven't been here that long, and we tend to, you know, are, we're trying to get this place set up for winter, so that's been our main focus. Uh, first year, first year will be a little expensive because you're going to be buying things that you don't normally buy: snow shovels, generators, you know, chains maybe snow tires, things like that, that you just, you know, you don't think you need unless you live in snow country. And it's snow country up here. Um, I don't think it's like Tahoe or uh, 
Truckee where you get like nine foot walls of snow, right. you'll probably have to go some other place in Idaho to get that. But uh, the winters apparently can be mild or heavy, and they haven't had a heavy one for a couple years. So, um, you know, the weather's been good since we've been up here. The air is pretty good. Um, they do get a little bit of uh, you do get a little bit of uh, you know uh, poor air quality in Boise, but no different than the Bay Area or LA or anything like that. Just kind of sits there, and, and you have to remember that a lot of people do burn wood up here as a source of heat. So I mean, not that you're not going to have a house that has both. You know, um, but like I said, we're out in the, we're out off the grid a little bit. So, you know, our fuel is different. We're on a well, so we have fresh water. We don't have to pay a water bill. Um, garbage, if you take it to the dump, is free, mm. or you can have a service come take it. I imagine if you live in town, you probably pay for service and you pay for water. So it's very similar to anywhere else we're just a little bit different up here so if, would you have any advice for someone in california that's thinking that they'd like to move to a better place but unsure of what they need to be doing or well you need to you need to come up and take a look around and see if there's some place up here that you know meets your needs and your wants as far as like hospitals and stuff like that they have saint luke's in St. Alphonsus, and you can take a look at those online and have an idea. Um, if you're an outdoorsman, it's a must. The fishing, there's a lot of places to fish, a lot of places to hunt. Everybody up here who's been in this area for a while, they all fish, they all hunt. Um, they're pretty resourceful. Um, People tend to have a little bit slower lifestyle up here. It's not as quite as fast-paced. So less stress, perhaps? Less stress. Definitely a lot less stress up here. Ah. Wow. Well, you've given us a lot to think about, Kel. I appreciate your time. And no problem. So happy that things are working out so great for you guys. Yeah, we love it up here. Excellent. It was a very good decision for us. Glad to know. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks to your entire family. You're welcome.